Here we have a slightly used 2024 Ram TRX. Now this truck comes in bright white clear coat and then we have black perforated leather interior. For the powertrain, we get a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. And that gives us 702 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque. Coming around to the front end here, we get the LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and the nice aggressive stance that we expect from a TRX. And this one is a level two, so I'll show you the window sticker, all the options that that has. 18 inch wheels down here. Passive keyless entry on the front. One touch automatic up and down windows for the front. We have our power folding side mirrors, excuse me. And those have blind spot monitors. We can control either side there. Power door locks are there. We get a 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Headlamp controls. We do get power adjustable foot pedals for those who are interested in that. And then we have an electronic parking brake here. Just pull to engage to the brake, press it to disengage. And there's our eight-way power driver's seat with four-way power lumbar support. And then the steering wheel is manual tilt and telescope. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat room. So great space back here. Even though the seats are humongous, I can still fit back here without my knees touching the back of the seat. And even with this dual pane, this optional dual pane sunroof, still have a couple inches of headroom there. Seat back pockets are on both sides. We do have heated and cooled seats for the rear and then a three prong 115 volt plug-in and two USB-C, USB-A duos there. So you can pick either one and use that for charging. Deep storage pocket back there, not too deep, but probably about a couple inches. Bottle holders are here. And then you can fold down the middle seat, bottle holders are here, and then you have storage there. So I like how they threw that in there. And then we have these nice, big, heavy duty hangers. If you wanna hang a uniform or a couple shirts on there, you can. Fuel fillers right in here. And I'm probably gonna have to yell as I get to the back here, because this exhaust is menacing. But there's a look at that back end. Just listen to that. It's just growling. Well, I guess I'll let the tailgate down. I kinda was in awe of that. But not too much going on here. We don't get a plug or anything, but we do get lights. And it is easy to lift and lower. But to the front passenger seat here, we get that same adjustability having a power front passenger seat with the four-way lumbar. Then side pockets are on both sides. And there is our glove compartment. And yeah, the sticker is right here. Let me pull that out. And a big shout out to Auto Collection of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But y'all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look at the sticker. That sticker's for 112.815 after all options. I'm gonna put that back in there and then we have this top cubby here. Love how it's carpeted up there. Now we're gonna go around, pop the hood, take a look at the engine bay. And it tells you what it is right there, but we're gonna go ahead and actually feast our eyes on it. At least the engine cover. But there it is back in there. Beautiful, isn't it? But next to the driver's seat, 
So we have this nice leather and I believe Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. There's the horn there. Now to the radio here, I'm gonna start at the top. We can go ahead and turn on the heated cooled seats, the heated steering wheel from there. The navigation screen is here, home page is here. And then we do get AM, FM, XM radio, along with Bluetooth audio. We also have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. There's even an aux input and USB port. So we have whatever you need, I'm sure. Then your audio settings can be adjusted in here. We get dual zone automatic climate control. So I'm gonna turn that on to show. We can adjust temperature for either side there. We also have buttons on the side too. So I like this system because you can go in here, whether you wanna use this, use this, use this. It's There are several different ways you can do everything. So if you're with somebody that likes to use the screen, you can do that. If you're somebody that likes to use the buttons and the knobs, you can do that. But again, those same toggles for the heated steering wheel as well as the heated cooled seats is down there. And then to connect your phone, just go there, add device, walks you right through it. And then your vehicle settings are in here and you can pull up your performance pages here. So I like that it kind of shows you your best drag times, acceleration. You can look at your gauges there if you want to check out coolant, oil temperature, etc. And then even trailer tow pages. And that's another crazy thing, kind of like the Durango. If you want to use this as just something to thrash that's cool but also it can be practical depending on what you need it for so you have a sports truck and you also have something that can tow and then with the durango hellcat you have something that can hold seven people but it's also just super fast super loud so that's one of the things i love about the the supercharged lineup from stellantis trailer brake controllers here aux input safe on the wire light bar winch or whatever you have six different switches there parking sensors and then you have your traction control there four-wheel drive controls are here you have your trx mode there and you can kind of pull that up and then also you can decide where you want to be once you pull that up through the menu and then your launch control is right there usb ports are there aux input wireless charging pad and then the shifter is here hit the brake reverse neutral drive come over here you can manually shift there bottle holders top tray for the center console cubby and there's the bottom tray there and then you can put your change in here which i like and then you have another 115 volt three prong plug-in which i can't really fit my phone in the gap but it's there and then a rear camera mirror here and then you also what's pretty neat is you can vent the sunroof you can completely slide it back but then you also have a power sliding rear window. Pretty neat there. And hit it a second time, it'll go all the way behind the second panel of glass. And I like that it's one touch. Garage door transmitter, vanity mirror, and then back to the steering wheel. Blinkers are here. When the low beams are on, we can toggle those high beams there. And then we have our wipers there. Intermittent, low, high push all the way in, you get that front wiper fluid. And then we can use this kind of arrow pad here to go through our different settings. So we can go through each sub menu and then when we get to something we like, we can hit okay and go deeper into it. So heads up display, that's another addition that I'm glad that we have here and I'll take a closer look at that. There's the heads up display there. And then we do have the paddle shifters. What's crazy is you can go through the radio stations here. I think you can go through track list there as well. And then volume, you can toggle up or down here. And it's nice that you still have a full paddle shifter right in there. So if you wanna do it above the volume, you can. If you wanna do it below the volume, you can. And then over here, we can pull up this menu as well just by hitting that. And that's one of my favorite things to do is you can kind of see everything up close if you don't wanna necessarily get deep into something and we do have adaptive cruise control so we can turn that on or off there adjust the gap one thing i like about chrysler and i have this on my pacifica hybrid is i can just with a touch of a button turn on my standard cruise set the speed cancel resume and then if i want to i can just turn on the adaptive cruise at any time but i'm so excited i just want to get right into it 
So next, it's time for us to go ahead and take this 2024 Ram TRX out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Ram TRX, just extremely powerful. It's, it's insane, it really is. I mean, 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque in this pickup truck is just wild. And I haven't even really given it anything yet. It's just, gosh, it's a monster of an engine. That's the best way to put it. It's, it's insane. And it gets up to speed, and I guess where it's a pickup truck, it doesn't feel like it's going as fast as it is, but I mean, it is it is extremely quick, let me tell you. But what's great about this truck is, just driving on the road here, it's not extremely rocky or uncomfortable. And I actually like the sports steering because I feel like, first of all, it's stiffer, but also it just feels more controllable. And if you're gonna be driving this thing as a street truck, this is how you want it. Maybe having, you know, towing something behind you or hauling something, you don't want the steering to be as stiff, but in this drive mode, this is how I like it. And I mean, it's just, it's effortless how this thing gets down. It's just, <laughs> it's so much, it's almost like driving those Teslas. Just, you just want to nail it every chance you get because it's just, it's ready. There's not a huge amount of lag. Of course, it's an automatic transmission. It's not like the instant torque you get in an EV, but still, it's wild. Now, I am gonna give it a bit of throttle getting on the interstate here. I don't wanna give it too much because these things are pretty tail happy just knowing the Hellcat Challenger and the Hellcat Durango the way I do. I've driven one of these before. I think it was a 22 model year, but I didn't give that too much either. So I'm gonna give it something, but I'm not gonna give it too much because again, these things are just nasty quick and they just have so much power going to the rear wheels. So we're definitely gonna get on the interstate here and try to nail it just a tad. I've got a little space behind me. I'm gonna try and let off a little bit. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's just insane. Oh my gosh, this ginormous truck. Just the supercharger one, everything. It just, gosh, that's so much fun. And then we have the adaptive cruise here. So that's a nice feature to have, especially on longer road trips. You wanna be careful though, because you'll be burning a lot of gas driving this on a road trip. But again, if you need it, it's there. I'm gonna take this down the road, a little, an exit longer than I usually do. The ride quality here is interesting. It's a tad bouncy, not like it's annoying, but I can feel it. So that's one thing, but also just all of the feeling that you're getting in the road, especially with the sports steering on, is not even close to being an issue. This is just a very comfortable, tame ride here when I don't have my foot to the floor. And I'm passing the trucks on the right side. I know people like to get on me about driving. I know what I'm doing. I drive these roads every day. So I pretty much know what everyone else around me is gonna do before they do. But I mean, just a, a comfortable ride. It's a full-size pickup truck, but still, just everything that goes into the TRX, I am extremely impressed with how well this thing moves. From the acceleration to the ride quality to the braking feel. 
it's all just grade A in my opinion. I'm gonna nail it coming out of this corner here. <laughs> oh, that is so much fun. Can't get enough of that, just can't. And it's really not even, I mean, it's fast, but really what you get is the sound. The sound is just so insane to me. But for the price point at 113 grand, is it worth it? I mean, I think so, but there are other competitors out there. It's not necessarily a TRX, but you can get a Denali Ultimate with a 6.2 liter V8, have a much nicer interior, I think, for a little less money. But it's not gonna put a smile on your face like this does. And I wanna say I'm just very thankful for Auto Collection of Murfreesboro for letting me review this truck today. I'm actually going to review this back to back with an F-150 Raptor. It's not gonna be a Raptor R, but I do wanna see how this feels, pretty much a performance truck from Ram, how that feels compared to the performance truck from Ford and kind of compare and give my thoughts based on the overall sticker price compared to what you get. And if it's really worth the, the change in money, whether it goes towards the Raptor or towards the TRX, because I don't know what that Raptor stickers for. I know this one stickers for 112. This one's a 24, that Raptor's gonna be a 23, but I still, kind of want to just compare apples to apples there. Now I see why this thing gets 10 miles per gallon city because when you're coming out of a stop, it likes to rev hard. And I do have it in sport mode now, but still it's chugging this gas, but I don't even care. I mean, these are just so much fun. They're so cool. Now, road noise, I want to address that. These tires are pretty loud, which is to be expected, but it, it doesn't bother you. I've been driving this, and really, I was just wondering, how loud is this thing? So, the exhaust, of course, drones, which I like. The tires are not really loud, but you do hear them, and they have a, a nice off-road kind of thud to them. And you really don't hear much of the outside world while you're driving this either. The sound acoustics are pretty impressive in that sense. Now I will say driving this around town, it is big, but it's not like driving a dually or anything. It just kind of shows its size and it feels bigger where it's up higher. But I mean, this is just, this is a great truck, even for a six figure price tag. So if you can get one, if you get one, you won't be disappointed. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Ram TRX.